AMD's next generation GPUs and CPUs are going to be incredibly fast. Let's talk about it. Before that, make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you never miss another video. So recently, a website that goes by the name of The Street conducted a lengthy interview with AMD's EVP Rick Bergman discussing future plans for RDNA 3 as well as Zen 4, and during their interview, Bergman dropped some really interesting pieces of information on the upcoming products. Now of course, as always, I'll have a link in the description below to the full article so you can give it a read, but I want to go over a few important pieces of information and then give you my thoughts on them. So when The Street asked Bergman about whether its RDNA 3 GPUs are aiming for another 50% performance per increase and what its future plans for the infinity cache technology being used in RDNA 2 GPUs were, Bergman had this to say, quote, let's step back and talk about the benefits of both. So why did we target pretty aggressively performance per watt improvements for our RDNA 2 GPUs and then yes we have the same commitment on RDNA 3. It just matters so much in so many ways, because if your power is too high, we've seen this from our competitors, suddenly our potential users have to buy bigger power supplies and very advanced cooling solutions. Then when asked about how much Zen 4's improvements will come from IPC, Bergman said this, If you look at our technical document on Zen 3, it was a long list of things that we did to get that 19% IPC gain. Zen 4 is going to have a similar strong list of things, where you look at everything from the caches to the branch prediction to the number of gates in the execution pipeline. Everything is scrutinized to squeeze more performance out. So what do I think about this? Well, I think this is really interesting what Bergman had to say here because he's essentially confirming for AMD that yes, they will be targeting the same performance per watt increase that they achieved with RDNA 2 with the RDNA 3 architecture. And you know, that's actually really great to hear because the RDNA 2 architecture increase was absolutely mammoth. Like I mentioned earlier, it was a 50 plus percent increase in terms of performance per watt over the RDNA 1 architecture, which is why they're going to be so competitive competitive with Nvidia's Ampere chips. So if they're able to get another 50% plus performance per watt increase on the RDNA 3 architecture, these are going to be some seriously fast cards because, you know, although performance per watt doesn't necessarily directly translate into performance, it gives you a whole lot more headroom to, you know, boost that performance much higher. And I think this also confirms that yes, AMD is going to be targeting a similar IPC increase for Zen 4. Now, of course, when I say targeting for both these things, that doesn't necessarily mean they're going to hit it. It just means that that's their goal. Will they hit it? We don't know. They could, you know, fall a little short. They could actually get something that's a little bit faster, but it's nice to see that, you know, AMD is staying aggressive. They're not going to be resting on their laurels such as Intel had been doing, and that's essentially what is going to be Intel's downfall here is that they were resting on their laurels all this time. No, AMD is going to continue to be very, very aggressive with the IPC increases that they're going to be shooting for, and as well as the IPC increases on the RDNA type of GPUs as well, which is going to lead to them being able to produce very, very effective video cards that are going to be very competitive versus their, you know, Intel and Nvidia counterparts, which is, again, very great to hear. I think that we're going to be, you know, seeing some really fast cards and CPUs coming out from AMD over the coming years here. But, you know, that doesn't really mean anything if they come out in 10 years. So I know you're probably asking, when are these things going to release? And while we don't have an exact day, we do know a rough time period in which both the Zen 4 architecture as well as RDNA 3 will be releasing because, you know, according to AMD themselves, if you take a look at this slide here, we can see that both both these charts end at 2022 where you see Zen 4 as well as RDNA 3. So what that essentially means is, that, you know, and of course this is subject to change, it even says it on the slide, but you know, AMD's shooting for right now, getting both these products out by 2022. Now they left this chart intentionally vague, so that could mean that potentially you'll get, you know, Zen 4 CPUs or RDNA 3 before 2022. You could potentially see them even by the end of 2021, but you know, that's probably a little bit unlikely. Typically, you know, when a, a company's on a roll, they like to get products out in roughly an 18 month uh, cycle here. So I think what you're going to end up seeing here is that RDNA 3 will likely launch on probably the first half of 2022 as well as Zen 4. But I think RDNA 3 is going to come out before Zen 4. So maybe even if we're lucky, maybe RDNA 3 will come in at the first quarter of, uh, you know, 2022. And then maybe quarter two or quarter three, Zen 4 will come out. But, you know, I wouldn't expect either of these products to release before 2022 or after 2022. So yeah, we're probably going to see them around that time period, but we'll have to wait and see for more information before we can actually nail down a specific month or even a day. But hey, that's just what I think. What do you think about RDNA 3 and Zen 4? Do you think that they'll get a similar improvement or do you think that they're going to fall short? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, Nvidia and Intel drop prices. Also, if you want to see more, click here.
you won't be disappointed.